Hello, classmates. Since I hate presentations personally, I thought it would be a fun idea to do a little video presentation instead with uh, more pop up pictures than actual talking stuff. So, um, stop talking about the subject. Let's go ahead and get right into it, I guess. Um, so, my myth is Demeter and Persephone. Demeter is basically the goddess of vegetation or the harvest, whatever you want to call it. And she nurtures and yeah, she nurtures the earth's vegetation and provides for living creatures. So she had this daughter. Her name was Persephone, and she was the maiden of the spring. Demeter loves her only child and cares for her more than anything else in the world. So one day the god of the underworld, Hades, fell in love with Persephone and abducts her. He literally rides a chariot out of the underworld, grabs her by the wrist, and pulls her down with him. Kinda harsh, right? Yep, I guess this is that one rape story every good book needs, apparently. So Demeter is torn over this and stops caring for the vegetation, which obviously she can't do. After a full nine days, the other gods knew something was up with her, because she hadn't eaten in nine days, and she told them what had happened to her daughter. She wandered the earth in the Great Depression for a while and eventually came upon four maidens. Long story short, she was going to give a boy, Celius, eternal life, but he screwed up and Demeter left the family. Out of remorse, the mother of the family, Metanaria, I think that's how you pronounce it, I'm not sure, built a temple for Demeter, and that is where the goddess dwelt for the time. After a year of no vegetation and a few months of no oxen, or just animals in general, people are dying. Imagine living in a world with no food for a year. Yeah, crazy, right? So, Zeus is ticked off and has had enough of this, so he decides to get Persephone back from Hades. So, Zeus sends Demeter, many gods and goddesses from Olympus, to help get Persephone back. But then, Zeus realizes that this isn't going to be easy, and he sends Hermes down to the underworld. Hermes finds Hades and um, Persephone side by side. Persephone was delighted to go, but Hades was depressed, due knowing that he had to listen to Zeus. Upon her leave, Hades prayed for this girl to see him not so much as a bad guy. Oh, I actually feel sorry for the poor guy now. He just loves the girl and wants her to love him back. So, anyway, oh, and by the way, did I forget to tell you guys that uh, he made her eat a pomegranate seed? Which actually, in the underworld, if you eat something there, you have to return. So, uh, there goes all my sympathy for Hades. So anyway, Demeter and Persephone reunite, and the goddess is saddened by the news of the seed. So Zeus comes up with a compromise. Four months with Hades, and eight with Demeter. Persephone basically died every year, and her life was never good afterwards. She used every second of her yearly eight months and loved the beauty of Earth, but it couldn't fill the emptiness Hades brought. So, guys, I overall think this story is very good. Um, if you don't like it, then uh, at least read it for the last paragraph. There is a beautiful poem at the end about how per, um, Persephone's never going to get to live again like she did. And it's very good and it makes you think. And um, I like it. The moral of the story is that um, all gods are not always happy. And some just hate their lives like Persephone does. So guys, that's the myth. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And uh, for right now, that's all you need to know about Demeter and Persephone.